Fujifilm was not messing around when they stepped into their current generation of technology. While their lenses have always displayed amazing image quality and character for the entire history of the X mount, this lens has, dare I say it, the best optical quality of any Fuji lens to date. Since the moment I first mounted this lens on my camera, the 18mm 1.4 has been the best performing first party lens I have ever used. Not necessarily my favorite, but we'll talk about that later. The image quality and performance is leagues above the original 18mm f2. While that's by no means a bad lens, and it does have unique character, the drawbacks such as slower autofocus, occasional softness, and washed out colors are nowhere to be found here. Now what you get instead are insane levels of sharpness, beautiful colors, and sweet, sweet resolution. It genuinely feels like I'm looking at true definition life mixed with a little bit of character when I sort through my catalog with this lens. It's super sharp wide open at 1.4 to a point where it's kind of nuts and naturally it gets even sharper as you move towards f8. Truly just lovely image quality. I made an image with this lens and it was printed at 24 by 36 resolving the X-T4's 26 megapixel sensor and it looked incredible. But don't get me started on the autofocus, especially on an X-H2S. It's lightning fast, accurate, and what you'll want to use if you seek the peak Fujifilm film experience. For all the flack Fuji catches for their autofocus, at this point it's just overdone. If you pair this with any current or even last generation camera, you're going to get fast and accurate autofocus. But if we're going to constantly compare it to the best autofocus being Sony, I have no problem saying that the X-H2S and this lens together are right in the neighborhood. We've been at a point where modern cameras and lenses are focusing more than good enough and has been that way for years now. Additionally, as you play with perspective, you'll see that you can emphasize certain subject matter the closer they are to the lens, have a greater sense of depth in your photos just due to the nature of wider lenses, or literally stretch out the frame into layers due to this same enhanced depth. 28 millimeter is not the easiest focal length to use in any realm, but if you get the hang of it, you'll constantly be learning new ways to express your creativity. Ergonomically, it has everything you could possibly want. A smooth, satisfying manual focus ring and an aperture ring with ASMR levels of clicky goodness. The fact that it's weather sealed too also gives you some peace of mind as this lens feels like a lot of love and attention went into making it. But while I love how tactile this lens is and how amazing the optical quality is, there's really only one area where I have the slightest beef with it. And I'm purely speaking as a street photographer. It's the size. And I'm sure that everything that went into this lens that made it this size was necessary so that it could perform this well. But sometimes in the late night when the city's asleep and I'm looking out my window, I wish this was an 18 F2 Mark II with better optics. I know that a fast aperture isn't all about bokeh, there's light gathering and other aspects as well. And I also know that this lens was not specifically designed for street photography only. It's an excellent video lens as well. In fact, all of the A roll and B roll of this video was recorded with this lens. So when you combine those two points together, you're gonna to end up with a lens that's a little bit on the thick side but we welcome that here. 370 grams on the Fuji X system is the point where it's like, all right, this is cool, but if it was a little smaller, that'd be all right too. This doesn't take away from anything I just said that celebrates this lens, and I don't mind carrying it with me since it's such an amazing lens, but purely speaking as a street photographer who's rarely ever home, always has a bag on him, it would just be nice if this was a little bit smaller. That's it. All in all, as a lens, if your only flaw is that some dark and handsome dude has a pipe dream that you are 100 grams lighter and a little smaller, you are indeed an excellent lens. For those of you out there who want the most compact kit possible, I can absolutely not recommend this to you. You're probably gonna wanna get the 18 F2 or even the 23 F2, as those are wider lenses that are still on that small side. But if you ask me, the 18 millimeter 1.4 did not come to play and this is the most incredible image quality that you can get on the Fujifilm X system. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.